Hey everyone, how are you doing today? So here's a quick tutorial to show you how to draw in Canva. Now when I say draw, I mean freehand draw. Because our basic shapes like circles and squares and or triangles, they're already pre-existing in templates, which is cool. But if you just want to draw a freehand shape, then how do you do that? Um, so it's quite simple actually, there are just a few steps, so let's get started. So you open your Canva and you go to create a design. You can choose any kind of design you want or of course do a custom size. So now I just take one easy square format. You can do the drawing both of course on a blank screen or on top of images, however you want. I'm just going to do on a blank screen just to make it easier first and then I'm going to show you how it looks on an image. So once you open your design, you go to draw over here and you select on that and it pops out a menu, your drawing menu. So you have three brushes here. There's a pen brush, the marker and the highlighter. And they work pretty much the way you expect your physical tools similar to these should work, right? So a pen is quite thin and you can do make it really sharp, angled. Then you have your marker, which is more like a whiteboard marker. And this is a highlighter. We all know how these work. You have an eraser, you have the cursor, and you can pick your color and you can pick the size. If you click on that, you can choose the weight and transparency of your brush. So there are three steps essentially. You choose your brush, you choose your color, you choose your weight and transparency, and you draw. Let's see how these three brushes work. So you take the pen and you just do the shape that you want. Right. Now let's change the color. Let me take a brand color. And I'm going to increase the weight over here and maybe reduce the transparency. Now you will see that the pen tool, when you have a really high weight, it works very similar to the marker tool. So that's your thick pen tool. And you see I reduce the transparency so you can see the blue line through the purple line. Now let's take the marker and I'm going to keep it red so we see the difference. Now this is also thin as a default setting but it's not as thin as the pen. <clears throat> now you can also increase it. You can choose your transparency. You can pretty much click whatever, just do whatever design you want. Now you take your marker, sorry, your cursor, and you can select each <clears throat> shape that you've drawn and resize them, reposition them, etc. Now I'm just going to click remove everything because I want to show you another thing that's pretty cool. So let's say you want to draw a flower. Now this flower is not perfect. It's got a lot of edges. So what you do, you just click and hold it in there it makes into a much more even shape, right? So you just draw it and you click and you hold it. And I'm gonna remove all of that again. And now let's add an image and then we see how it looks on top of this one. So let's say I draw and put in this really cute picture and I just want to add some heart to it. Yes, you can pull in elements, your shape, your graphics from here and add a heart, but I want to draw a heart. So, go there. I keep my transparency a bit more maybe, the weight a little lesser, and I just draw some nice hearts. Maybe I want to do a white one. And there you go, right? Um, okay, let's see how it looks when you have some text. I'm going to add my heading. Maybe I put love. Right. Yeah. Okay. And now I want to highlight the love. So I go here, take a highlighter, 
Mm, let's see. And there you go. Now you can highlight your text as well. So those were the pretty easy, simple and straightforward ways that you can draw on Canva. If you find others, experiment and let me know. Thanks for watching.